This was revealed by the police during the commemoration of World Day Against Trafficking in Person at Kitman Swab. Deputy Commissioner Crispin Mubebo, on behalf of Lieutenant General Sebastian Deitunga, said current statistics are not a true reflection of the reality on the prevalence of human trafficking due to the fact that such crimes are concealed. This crime, trafficking in persons, is considered to be the most lucrative criminal syndication where huge amounts of money are generated by traffickers worldwide. At the misery of the victims, the victims of the heinous of these heinous can become anyone who gets trapped into believing in some possibilities of economical benefits before realizing and become victims who get trafficked to different places where they can be exploited for the wide range of peoples. The government enacted the Combating of Trafficking in Persons Act from which the police had drawn information to develop a pocket manual which cover issues related to gender-based violence, child protection, trafficking in persons and children in conflict with the law. Clara's Regional Council Chairperson Joseph Isaac says more needs to be done to ensure the protection of Namibians against human trafficking. We are obligated by virtue of this constitutional obligation to join hands and uphold this mandatory provision for the safety of our Namibian child and our Namibian woman. Gender-based violence, poverty, hunger, unemployment, homelessness, landlessness are some of the breeding grounds that afford potential opportunities for the traffickers to lure, to lure our vulnerable women and children. The 2021 World Day Against Trafficking in Person was commemorated under the theme Victims' Voices Lead the Way.